Hey everyone, a solo review today. Uh, this is, if you just watched the, um, the uh, unboxing I did for the International Beer Club that my wife got me, um, this is a, the Count Brewery. So they give you a newsletter with, go, which goes into the brewery, the beer, uh, both beers actually, so you can see two reviews. This is the Zwickel Lager from Arkebrau Brewery, uh, Bavarian, um, since 1567. I gave this a read before. Um, it's really interesting. So I guess um, the brewery translate the name of it, um, Arkebrau, uh, translates the Count's Brewery. So the Counts of Arco, they originally were in Italy, and um, they were forced to, um, to leave uh, due to political unrest, I guess, in the 16th century. And then they uh, found a new home in uh, Bavaria. It uh, looks like Moose Bavaria to be exact. Um, they started brewing in 1567, as it says on the bottle. Um, and the brewery was destroyed in 1617 by a fire, which they rebuilt. Um, and then they started brewing um, the very first house, which I guess is the flagship. And then, yeah, they've been doing this for hundreds, hundreds of years. Um, and then inside, uh, like I said, it has information on the Zwickel Lager, which we're going to drink right now. Serving temperature, 42 to 47, 5.2%. Um, suggest a glassware, a, uh, a stange, stange. So I got my Huppacher stange, uh, Pilsner glass, or a mug. So, so it says Zwickles, they're, they're aged in a cellar, unsealed, I uh, know, sorry, usually sealed before bottling, I uh, know, sorry, uh, left not completely sealed, which allows much of the carbonation to escape, and then uh, once they're bottled, uh, so they get more carbonation once they're bottled. Um, it has some tasting notes. I think I'm going to do, I stopped reading once and I said that there are tasting notes. Um, so I think I'm going to do what we do with the Huppage reviews is sort of go through the beer and then, um, cover my work, um, and then kind of go through the tasting notes. So, pearly whitehead. Uh, I'm going to keep looking over here to make sure the camera's good. I have it on remote on the iPad. Um, yeah, really nice whitehead. Uh, lots of carbonation. Let me just turn it around so you can actually see it. Eh, I don't know if you can see the carbonation, but bubbles are rising up. It looks... It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's unfiltered, but you can see through it. It's not like, it's not a hazy beer, but it's definitely a little bit unfiltered. It looks, it looks gorgeous. Um, I love me a good swickle. Anyways, good enough. First thing is this lovely level of, of sweetness, of like malty sweetness, cereal grain. Fresh cut grass, a little bit of lemon. Um, I usually get a, not like a lot of lemon, but there's a little a little kiss of lemon with with that fresh cut grass. Really earthy vibe, but it has that this lovely lovely sweetness going to it. I'm gonna get a taste. Cheers. That is a good beer. So it kind of falls, like the taste kind of follows the nose. So a little bit more um, bitterness up front, but Zwickles themselves are known to be a little less bit, little less hot bitterness, but there's a little bit, bit of bitterness right near the end. Right up front, you're getting this really like nice, light malt, sweet malt characteristic with that like kind of grassy lemoniness. And then it bitters off very nicely at the end. As I'm talking, uh, it gives us a little bit of, um, Hot bitterness. There's, there's like a hot bitterness. It's, not, it's a little bit of res, it's little resiny, but not in the sense of, say, like a West Coast IPA. Really nice lager bitterness. This beer is fantastic. And you can get this beer. This is, I, I imagine, given the price of, like, say, wine savannah and stuff like that, I would hope these are on the, the same price. Um, like, you know, close to like 10 to $13 for a six pack. Um, I, I didn't look up to see what they were. I don't see this around here, but um, I'm really happy that I got this. Um, but yeah, if you guys see this, if you've had this before, let me know what you think of it. Um, I'm really looking forward to, to see if I can find the Hellas. 5.2%, um, this is a crusher. I'm gonna drink a few of these today, probably. It's Saturday, so. And as always, Carrie, thank you so much for uh, for getting drunk and ordering me this. I'm really happy with, 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 with this particular box. Um, down in the comments, if you had this before, if you had the Counts Brewery, um, are you part of this part of this beer club? I really like what they're doing with the um, with the, um, the the news there. Oh, let's check out the tasting notes. Almost forgot. At first pour, uh, our pour was clear, but this is a traditional filter lager. We swirled up some of the yeast in the bottle to add some extra haze to the flavor. Did I get any? Uh, a little bit, but it was. 
Yeah, it looked like, ah, uh, actually, no, it does look a little bit more unfiltered. Um, let's see, on the nose, look for some doughy and light caramel. Yeah, I'll take that. Cereal, cereal grains, caramel is giving off that, that kind of sweetness. Apple skins. Uh, herbal spicy notes, yeah, yeah, I can see that. On the palate, bready character, yeah, I, I, can, I can get down with that. Residual sweetness, yep, yep, got that. Mildness caramelization, yep. Hops add a grassy, light, spicy notes with a flash of orchid fruits. Um, pop in here and there as well. Bitterness is low to moderate, but balance well to give the malt a mostly dry overall impression as it finishes crisp and satisfying. Um, for pairing options, not hard to go with German specials like schnitzel, fresh baked pretzels, sweet mustard, grilled bratwurst, and other sausages. I have brought this on the fridge. I was on a grill today, but the rain decided to uh, change that. I ended up putting up a tent. Um, yeah, this is really good. If you guys can get, get your hands on this, do it. If you like lagers, if you like Zwickles, this is where it's at. Like the carbonation too, it is. It goes away relatively quickly on the mouth, on, on, on the mouth feel. It is this lighter body with, with less carbonation, but that's what it is for Zwickle. This beer is delicious. Mike and I have been trying to keep our reviews down uh, <laughs> uh, time-wise, and I keep uh, just 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 gushing over this beer, so we're going to wrap it up. There's a sense on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, those are things like comment, subscribe, those notification bells, so you're finally posting videos. And I'm Sean. This is Nerd Sense. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching.